It's Friday, September 11, 2015, and let's talk about what happened this week over at xdadevelopers.com. First up, if you're curious about what makes the Sony Xperia Z5 tick, a teardown appeared over on Weibo. Speaking of the Z5, Mario put out an article talking about how even though the Z5 Premium does have a 4K display, it doesn't always run at 4K. So a lot of the concerns about performance and battery life are sort of being addressed in that way. Basically, if it's not showing something that's really high resolution, something 4K, something like maybe a high res picture or a 4K video, the display itself shows at 1080p. And you know good and well, most people can't actually tell the difference between 1080p, 2K, and 4K. For more information on that though, do make sure to check out Mario's article. Sticking in that Xperia vein though, Android 5.1.1 has started rolling out to a bunch of the older Xperia Z devices, including the Z, ZL, Tablet Z, and so on, so make sure to be on the lookout for updates on that. And if you have something from the Z1 series, that should be coming out soon. And speaking of rolling out updates, T-Mobile has started rolling out security updates to a bunch of the Nexus devices, so be on the lookout for those as well. Speaking of T-Mobile devices though, XDA senior member Broad Street Bully put together a guide showing you how to route the LG Leon, a device that we're featuring in our Top Phones Under $100 series. XDA recognized developer Super Dragon PT put out an unofficial stage fright patch for MediaTek MT6752 and 6732 devices, so head on over to his thread if you've got one of those devices. XDA member Sky LK put out a guide showing you how you can fix GPS reception issues on the LG G2 Mini. XDA member Orivo put out a guide for unlocking the bootloader on the Huawei Honor 7. XDA forum member Heisenberg made a guide showing you how to unlock, root, and do a ton more things to the OnePlus 2. If mine ever shows up, I might have to take advantage of that. Speaking of the OnePlus 2 though, XDA member the Bug in You put out a build of Hydrogen OS for it with built-in OTA updates. XDA senior member Ultimate Waffle found a fix for the screen brightness bug with the Galaxy S6 Edge for certain variants of it. So it's not necessarily for all of them. Do make sure to read through his forum thread to see if yours has a fix available. XDA member Rom Huawei released a collection of stock ROMs for the Huawei P8 and P8 Lite. So if you need to revert your device, he's got you covered. XDA senior member The Strix has put out his multi-ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Team Win has released an official build of Twerp for the Galaxy Note 5. Dr. Kitan released his ROM for the Note 5 as well, which seems to be a very popular one I'm not familiar with. And Mario put out his full review on the Note 5. So if you want to take an in depth look at that, head on over to his article. Eric also did a quick review of the ZTE Axon, so if you'd like to know more about that device, again, links down below. And finally, new forums are now available for the Huawei P8 Max, P8 Lite, and the Nvidia Shield TV. But you know what? That's going to be about all from me for today. You can find the links to all the stories that I talked about down in the video description as usual, as well as the links to my tech and daily vlogging channels right down there. Remember, if you like this video, please do leave us a thumbs up down below the video and subscribe to receive all of our videos as soon as they become available. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.